And here's an update to the fire that's racing through the Bosque on the Isleta Pueblo. This is the latest video from Sky News 13. It shows flames still visible, the winds pushing the fire east. Now the fire broke out on agricultural land, then quickly spread east into the Bosque. No word on how much land has been scorched at this time or what firefighters are doing to try to contain that blaze. As I mentioned, winds a big concern at this time. Yeah, the winds are gusting over 30 miles per hour in the area of the fire, and they're sustained around 20 to 25 miles per hour. So the wind's a huge factor in this, and the fires that are going on right now in uh, near Albuquerque sustained wind of 22 miles per hour, 18 mile per hour wind in Santa Fe, 29 in Las Vegas, but gusting over 50 miles per hour in Las Vegas right now at 52, 32 in the metro, and 30 mile per hour wind gusts in Santa Fe. So the winds are going to remain on the strong side tonight into the overnight. Hours, so we're not done with the winds because we have wind advisories posted until early on your Monday morning for all the areas shaded in yellow for gusts from 50 to 55 miles per hour. And then on top of that, we're dealing with those very dry conditions out there, relative humidity values only in the teens and the single digits. So, what that means is there's no moisture at the surface, so we're not going to ha have these dangerous fire conditions on top of these really warm temperatures. Made it into the upper 60s in the metro, 71 in Socorro, 75 in Tiracy, 72 in Alamo Gordo 83 and Carlsbad. So with these dry conditions, the strong winds and above average temperatures, red flag warnings posted until 7 o'clock tonight for all the areas shaded in red. So you do not want to do any burning outdoors. Can't stress that, stress that enough, excuse me, with winds gusting near 50 miles per hour in parts of the state. Satellite and radar showing most of the activity staying well off to the north. And the reason that the winds have cranked up this afternoon is because an area of low pressure is passing through Colorado. So we're just getting a few high thin clouds and those strong gusty winds. So we're going to have those clouds during the overnight hours tonight. It will be on the cool side. Eventually temperatures falling off. Then for tomorrow, we'll watch a cold front move into eastern New Mexico. Temperatures slightly cooler in the eastern portion of the state, but still about 10 to 15 degrees above average. Then by Tuesday, dry westerly flow returns, a lot of sunshine and temperatures still above average as we head into the middle of the week. So here's the forecast for the winds beginning at 10 o'clock tonight. We're seeing the yellows around Taos and Raton. That's winds gusting near 50 miles per hour. But as you head back to work on your Monday or if you're off for President's Day tomorrow, looking pretty nice as far as the winds go. It will be breezy in spots, especially along the central mountain chain and to the east, but not nearly as windy as it was today. So some good news there as the dry conditions will persist. We definitely need those winds to come down because temperatures will be staying above average for the week ahead. And Southern Colorado for tomorrow, temperatures climbing into the 50s, 55 in Durango, 53 in Pagosa Springs, 58 in Cortez, dry for Monday and Tuesday. Then a system moves in on Wednesday and Thursday and that could produce some snow by the middle and end of the week into the four corners. Temperatures into the upper 50s, middle 60s in Gallup and Grants. Winds out of the south at 10 to 15 miles per hour with mostly sunny skies. And then we'll see a downtick in the temperatures by Thursday and Friday back into the low to mid 50s into the southwest. We'll dip into the 20s and the 40s tonight, but back into the 70s and upper 60s. So slightly cooler for tomorrow, but still temperatures above average for this time of the year with a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures holding in the upper 60s for Tuesday and Wednesday into the southeast. Temperatures into the lower 70s in Roswell and Carlsbad. 64 in Lovington, 65 in Hobbs with partly sunny skies. The 80s return in Roswell on Tuesday and Wednesday. So a little bit cooler for tomorrow with that cold front. But then temperatures go right back up by the middle of the week before cooling down a little bit by Thursday and Friday. Back into the middle 70s into the northeast. We'll be in the 50s and the 60s. Winds out in the northeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And over to the northern mountains. We'll be in the 60s and the 50s after starting out in the 20s and the 30s. So a cold start, but mild by the afternoon. And we'll stay in the 60s for Tuesday and Wednesday. Unfortunately, all the systems are going to miss us to our north. So we're going to stay dry around the northern mountains into the east mountains. Temperatures breaking into the lower 60s after starting out in the upper 30s. And in the metro, temperatures a little bit cooler back into the middle 60s. But that's still about 15 degrees above average for this time of the year. The clouds kept us from reaching our record high temperature of 71 today, but we're going to see a lot more sunshine from Monday and Tuesday with temperatures a little bit cooler. All right, thanks, Chris. Here's going to sports.